morning guys it's Mel and I just wanted to share with you what's happening in my kitchen um, I'm in um, a, a very cold place right now I'm in Charlotte North Carolina it's freezing cold it so happened to have snowed you know just as I was coming off the aircraft but anyway very cold so I wanted some hot cereal I'm doing this eat clean challenge and so I decided to create something. I mean, this is something that I've played around with quite a bit. So I have used some almond meal. And I also have, uh, I'm using chia seed. And basically it's just a combination of the almond meal and the chia seed, which is the base of the hot cereal. And I've added in quite a few um, dried fruits, such as dried wild blueberries, dried cranberries, I have some medjool dates in it, and this is all in an attempt to sweeten it. Um, in addition to that, I did use a little bit of maple syrup because I realized that the fruits weren't doing as good a job to sweeten it. I also experimented and I put some tapioca pearls in it. Um, hopefully that wasn't too processed. And I also had some dry plum. But with all those dry fruits, you'll think that it was going to be sweet enough, but it wasn't. Um, also, I like my superfoods, so I have some mulberry in it. I also have some whole goji berry. And I've told you in the past that I've had the goji berry powder, and somehow it, you know, ended up becoming hard on me. So if I could just get it open, which I don't think I can do with my, my one finger, but it is... It is hardened. At some point, I guess I can maybe blend, blend out what's left in it. If you can see down there, it's hardened. So that's why I like to get the whole goji berry fruits, which, you know, it doesn't, you know, it's just the, the fruit there. And um, so I, I put that in the porridge. And then the ackee powder, it seems to have done well. I, I did put like a teaspoon in it just to enhance the nutritional value of my hot cereal. Now for flavoring, I use pumpkin spice. You can also use cinnamon. And I also use, um, I use vanilla beans. I, I was just about to put in the last bit of the caviar there. Um, Cause I, you, you basically split it in half and then you run your knife down to get the, all the, the beany stuff out or the caviar they refer to it as. But that's the vanilla bean. And you're not gonna waste the bean itself. You're gonna put it in as well. So I'm just gonna drop that in and allow it to simmer down with my hot cereal. So we stir in. I add a little bit of salt, not much. And as you know, I like to use either the sea salt or the Himalayan pink, pink, pink salt there and I have some apples that I'm just gonna put on top of what I'm having right now now I am going out so I have my container to go that I'm gonna fill so this is gonna you know help me as I'm venturing out in the cold but I am gonna have breakfast first and so it is thick um, it is quite uh, I mean I think it's a good consistency you know, oh yeah, I, I almost forgot. I have nuts in it. In addition to the, you know, I have walnuts um, in it. And those are more cranberry back there that I haven't opened yet. So I think um, I've covered everything that I use in it. It's just a matter of just working with what I have because, to be honest, I, I don't have in, in too much in terms of grocery. I need to go out and get fresh stuff. And since, you know, I wasn't here before, you know, I, I can only have to work with what I have. So the almond meal work, meal work worked well. I mean, people make porridge with cornmeal all the time. Why not almond meal? So that's what I did. Plus, you know, my I love my chia seeds. That helped to thicken it up a bit because almond meal by, meal by itself doesn't do such a good job as a thickening agent like, you know, you would see cornmeal does. So that's why I use the chia seed in conjunction with the almond meal. 
And then, you know, of course, the nuts give it a, some crunch. You know, the fruits give it pop of sweetness, plus it adds to the sweetness. I didn't use any milk, guys. This is almond meal, so as far as I'm concerned, it would help to add, you know, the milkiness to it, if, for want of a better word. So I didn't add any milk. And so it's, it's dairy-free. It's gluten-free, lactose for persons who are lactose intolerant, this is perfect. So again, I just wanted to share that with you. Everything is simmering nicely. And um, once, once um, it's all, you know, once the vanilla bean has really flavored in, and I've done the taste test and I'm good with it, I'm going to share a plate and I'll show you what my plate looks like. I'll be right back. So guys, this is what it looks like. My finished plate of, oh, I had the little thing that back there. Just going to stick that in my mouth. Mmm, yum. So all I did was pop some fresh apples on top. I sliced them. Obviously, I've eaten some of the apples. And the remaining apple is going to be eaten. But I, I just like to have fresh fruits um, in my hot cereal. So that's it. I mean, that's it. Um, a hot cereal, lactose-free, um, so no dairy, and also gluten-free, and so packed with nutrients, chia seed, almond, almond meal, all those sun-dried um, fruits. Some of them are freezer-dried. So good for you. And so, guys, that is a wrap. Again, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your support. And I'll see you in the next video. Remember to subscribe and to share with your friend. Ask them to subscribe as well. You have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Love you. Bye.